Ho ho, my heart is dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClue. And uh, we did pop up earlier, but I thought I'd pop up and see how you all were tonight. I say dinky do, midweek late night pop up just for you and uh, to see how you're getting on and who's about. Nothing wrong with that. I've all said I liken it to uh, that bit in Crocodile Dundee. You know, when he goes, uh, just saying who's about. Mick Dundee and he gets a hmm, 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 and all that sort of thing. Wonderful stuff. Thank you, do. So there we are. I hope you're all well, and uh, excellent to have you with us. As usual, we've got the old uh, Battle of the Lighting, tried to get the shadows right, tried to get the shadows out of the road. Uh, Martin, dinky do, Martin's watching. Welcome, 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 I say. Henry Newton, dinky do, Alan Burt. Lovely to have you with us. We'll just straighten that up a little bit. There we go. That's the stuff. Marvellous. Uh, Ian George, dinky do, Dee Gurley, good evening. Lovely to see you, Dee, Ronnie McIntyre, and Jacqueline McFarlane. Welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClue and uh, of course I want to say thank you for all the sharing that you've done this week. Andy Hughes marvellous man. I thought you were away on your travels Andy that was the thing. Good evening Scotty says Jacqueline. Good evening Jacqueline lovely to have you with us. Hamish Carr excellent stuff. Alright Scotty boy says Richie McCusker very very good Richie. Excellent stuff. Uh, Ryan David Scott says dinky do. Dinky do to you Ryan David Scott um, how are you? Now you have a five o'clock shadow, I know. I need to shave, I've always shaved a couple of times a day, you know, how mature. So there we are. Marvellous, that's what we like. Evening all, says Robert Knight. Evening, Robert, how are you? And uh, Carmack McCusker, lovely to see you there. Good evening, Scotty boys, this is Gavin Walker. Excellent, Gavin, lovely to have you with us as well. Greg MacArthur there, and Mark Gippert, lovely to have you all along. Now, I know you're all be getting ready for your bed. Some of you will be watching the news, and you'll be going, Ah, oh, Miss Scotty McClure, the news was on. That's the thing, I was going to have a chat with him. Hello, Scotty, says Derek. Hello, Derek, dinky do on the Facebook there. Michael Peverell, dinky do to you from me, Scotty McClure. Lovely to have you with us, of course, and lots to talk about. Hello, Scotty. Lovely to see you, says Elizabeth Gibbons, and the same to you, Elizabeth. It's always lovely to see you, and two weak kisses to you too, my dear. Mwah, I say, still having problems with the drivers up my backside, says Ryan David Scott. Sharing on True Radio, Scotty. Excellent stuff. Well, yes, lots of shares, guys. Did I suggest that? That's the thing. Did I, uh, did I know get a shout out, says Gordon Riley. Gordon Riley, you always get a shout out. In fact, you do extremely well for shout outs. John Houston says hello. Hello, John. Welcome. Scotty McClure's Wednesday night late night pop up just for you. <clears throat> I'm just going to share this and uh, let them know what's going on. Share. And uh, you should do the same, guys. Very important. There we are. And we'll just let it come in. Wonderful loading up the comments there. Wonderful. That's what I see. Share the post now. So that's that. That's that shared. And uh, if you can do the same, everybody, that would be wonderful. I'll share to the Scotty McClue group and just let them know that we're there. Um, I'll just put live now. Live now. And the time is... Uh, well, I don't need to worry about the time, do I? There we go. And we'll send it off to them, 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 and them. And there must be one more we can send this off to. Let everybody know we're on. Excellent stuff. Spread the word, guys. Tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live now. And uh, that's that. So that's all gone off. Excellent stuff. And that should let people know that we're live there. I'll also share to the page, if I may. Uh, what's Derek saying? What have we got there? Uh, no wonder people leave the NHS if they treat the staff bad. Scotty, watch uh, your go karaoke song when you go out and about. I'm a black belt in karaoke. And uh, I was in the curry house in Birmingham. 
one weekend and the waiter came up he said curry okay and I said yes put us down for Frank Sinatra my way that would be good a lot of people get cut off for their bad language at the weekend on Nation Scott he's some idiots Ryan David Scott they're going to get cut off for bad language they need to stop being stupid as soon as they say something like that we're just going to cut them off. So there you go. That's what happens. We can't have potty mouths on the radio. Or here, uh, for that matter. They'd get cut off here as well. Who am I sharing to? Uh, I'm going to share to my page. And if you all do the same, that would be brilliant, guys. So share to the uh, page. It says, on your page, uh, Scotty McClue. Put that in, and I'll put live now. There we are, L-I-V-E, now, um, join us, us is better than me, isn't it, live now, join us, and I'll publish that, there we are, and that's gone out to the page, so that lets people know. Uh, yes, a lot of people get cut off, they did indeed, Ryan David Scott, share the love, says Andy Hughes, always share the love, Scotty McClure. Alan Coltart says, hello, hello Alan, lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo, Danny McNeil's watching, tell 20 to 12, 20, says Ryan David Scott, you should be on Nation Radio every night, not just at the weekends, big man, says the wonderful Stephen Higgins, no, no, Stephen, that's up to the radio station. We're best not to push it. I feel very, very privileged getting to talk to every single one of you, getting to address the nation on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night on 96.3 on the FM on Nation Radio. I hope you're all tuned to it. What's your thoughts on independence, Scotty? George Roper says, well, I don't know if you saw uh, the First Minister speaking at the SNP conference. As you know, I'm not a political animal and I don't really take to do with politics much, but um, certainly I think Scotland economically could do very, very well in its own. And when I had the sense, the absolute sense that the First Minister was talking, and I think of the nonsense that you see so many other politicians talking, it does put them in the shadow, it puts the others in the shadow. It's wonderful. And I think Scottish people who are a little insecure think, no, I need to hang on to Nanny's apron strings. We need Auntie Westminster to be there. Auntie Westminster, I don't want to lose you. You know, our little aunt, Aunt Westy, down there uh, leading us and telling us what to do, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, what did you think about the Banksy painting a bit shredded yes i think um it'll be interesting to see what happens with that i'm not going into the details of where uh, the you know who bought it and when and uh you know how much and all that stuff but it was uh, it was a bit strange so there we are very very interesting uh george roper daniel foster well said scotty says george thank you george Dinky do, I say to every single one of you. Guys, can you all share this broadcast just now? Don't just stand agog going, Scotty McClure's on live. Actually get sharing. Earn your corn. Get sharing and sharing and sharing so the world can join us. Otherwise I go and be oh, I missed Scotty McClure. That's the one I get. They email me. They say, why do you never tell us when you're going live? I say, well, you need to set your notifications. I'm ready. Hello from Australia, says Deb Lawson. Dinky do, Deb. If you're all watching in Australia, guys, come and join me. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Uh, Ryan David Scott says, apparently it's worth more now. Oh, the painting. Very interesting. Well, you never know, you see. That's the kind of things that can happen. A great rarity. And uh, uh, if it was some sort of very clever prank, a bit strange. All right, Scotty, who do you think will be the next Thistle manager? Says Cammy West. Cammy, as you know, I don't talk football on my shows. It causes too much of a stushy. And we think much bigger than that. We're going out to the whole world here, Cammy. So there's no point in us just yakking away about what's happening in the west of Scotland, you know? That sort of thing. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Uh, you didn't have make me laugh. 
When I lived in Edinburgh, says Deb Lawson. I think living in Edinburgh makes you laugh, Deb, to be quite honest. So there we are. You know, where would we be without humour? People usually say Edinburgh. Uh, so there we go. Have you seen the floods in Oban, Scotty? Lauren Claire McCush. I haven't. Tell me more, please. What's flooded? Is it round about Ganavan? Uh, or is it uh, along the other end? Is it out the Kilmore and Kilbride? Uh, tell us what's happening. It will not be up the Balakin Ree. I can tell you that. Oi, says Deb. Oi, Deb. You think, Scotty, with a name like mine, I would be a gnat, but I'm not, says Hamish Carr. No, you don't need to be a gnat. You just have to say to yourself, look, I think Scotland would benefit more from its own administration. It's nothing to do with being a gnat or a separatist or anything like that. I mean, I think, to be quite honest with you, uh, the, the actual separatists, if Scotland does separate, has come from Westminster. That's where the separatisms come from. Scotty, Glasgow Rangers are very arousing at the moment, aren't they? John Glenn, it depends on your personal life. So I, I have to say... I'm not too fussed either way. So there we are. I agree, says Deb Lawson. Excellent, Deb. Yes, well, McClure talks a tremendous amount of common sense. So there we are. And I had one or two idiots to deal with today on Facebook. I make no, you know, no uh, bones about it, as they say. And, um, you know, when people say, we shouldn't be paying for the raw wedding, two million pounds. It's thruppins. And it's a wee bit of extra security, and we pay that anyway. So there we are. So good luck to the young couple. Evening, Scotty. Evening, Scotty. This is Stuart Smith. Uh, sad that you're aroused by football, says Deb Lawson, talking to somebody else, not to me. Um, hello, Scotty, says Stephen Connolly. Dinky-doo. Colin Rogers watching. Welcome, welcome. I say, John Glenn. Excellent, John. I loved when you did your uh, astronaut bit. Oh, that was fabulous. Oh, you're terrific. I once spoke to you on one of your old radio shows, Scotty, way back in the 90s. Good to see you're still talking. Mince, says Andy Riley. I never talk mince. That's a bra knitted sweater. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it? This is my Nation Radio jumper. I wear this for Nation Radio. It's Nation Radio colours. So there we are. And Nation Radio, of course, is the new big radio station for Central Scotland, and it is exciting. Put it on right now, 96.3 FM. Watching from Nashville in Tennessee, Barry O'Neill, Dinky Doo, Well, the show is in Nashville in Tennessee. There we are, country and western. It always makes me sing country and western, you know. Dinky Doo, Scotty. I've always wondered... And I'll tell you this in Nashville, Tennessee, I always wondered if you played a country and western record backwards, would the wife come back and bring the kids and the car and all that stuff? Hi, Scotty, you're looking good, says Anne Logan Kerr. Thank you, Anne Logan Kerr. Sadly, I can't return the compliment because I can't see you, but I send you strength and I wish you all the best. Uh, so excellent, and thank you very much for saying I'm looking good. It's remarkable. For 34 years of age, I think I scrub up pretty good, I have to say. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. Scotty McClure with a Wednesday night, late night pop-up. We did pop up at tea time as well. So watch all these programs, guys, and send them round. And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you've been watching. If you've got a point of view, do pop it down. We'll discuss it. Barry O'Neill, laugh, laugh, laugh. Thank you, and laugh, laugh, laugh to you, Barry O'Neill. Give that cami a boo. It's not all about football, says Andy Fletcher. Boo! No, it's not. I don't like booing, though. I think that's sort of, um, it's, it's not terribly polite, but I just did it because you'd asked, uh, you know, just for a bit of a bit of banter. Uh, so that sort of stuff. Uh, Kerry Barry Blair, excellent. Come and join us. Dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. I'm going to do some more sharing. Share. And you should do the same, guys. Says, I'll write the post here. So I'll write the post, Scotty McClue, and I'll just put live new. L I V E N O W. And uh, shall we put an exclamation mark? I think it looks better somehow with an exclamation mark on your page. So we're going on another page here, and uh, we'll see what's happening. Page. Right. Put it up onto that page. 
There we go, and that's that. So if you want to do a bit of shearing, that'd be wonderful. Roberta White, my mum Jennifer White is going short. Give her a shout out, please, says Roberta White. Jennifer White, Roberta White's mother, do not go short. Scotty McClue is here just for you to say dinky do. So there we go. Well said, Andy Fletcher. What did he well said? Let's see. I missed these. Scotty, you're a star, says Hamish Carr. So are you, Hamish. Uh, excellent stuff. Oh, yes, Andy Fletcher, yes. You give him a boo. That's right. Uh, well said, Andy Fletcher, says Ian Judge. James Ingalls, he's 40 today. Then Lord Clyde, my Labrador dog, is 12 today. So happy birthday to Lord Clyde. If you get a red and orange and green jumper, it'll be a traffic special, says Derek. Thanks, Derek. Thank you, dear. I just posted your link to Scots in Perth, says Deb Lawson. Fabulous, Deb. Excellent. I take it that's Perth, West Australia, WA, yes. How wonderful. With the... Uh, the Swan River, is that right? Hi, Scotty, watching from the Grand Canaries. Grand Canaria, are you all right there, Stephen McMahon? You don't have any hurricanes or anything. In Hertfordshire, Her Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. Uh, best time of week when you're talking, says Peter Lockwood. Peter Lockwood, you say very, very nice things, and I thank you. Right, Elizabeth Campbell, dinky-doo, lovely to see you here. It sure is, Scotty, and you're very correct, says Deb Lawson. The Swan River, fantastic. Is it? Is there the Black River? Yes, as well, is that right? Uh, in, in Perth, West Australia, because I was quite fancied. I had a colleague when I was a student who was from Perth, West Australia. So there you go, sounds fantastic. Sounds a lovely part of the world. Quite a lot of uh, mineral mining, is that right? You've got a lot of that around. Am I correct or am I talking? Complete and utter bunkum. You can tell me, you know, you're allowed to say. Uh, if you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, and the World Stop broadcaster just popping up live on Facebook just for you, dinky do. Do feel free to keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Yes, so there we are. So, we're right with Perth, West Australia. Mental Health Day today, says Derek. Good, Derek. Excellent stuff. Thank you for pointing that out. Remember, if somebody uh, is suffering mental health problems, then it is not a weakness. It's a result of being strong for far too long. So there you are. That's what I say. Who else have we got here? Met some people there. Hi, Mr. Dinky Doo Man, says Kevin Byers. Dinky Doo Kevin. Evening, Scotty. Good to see you. We're definitely better together. All free Barmalach. Dinky Doo, we have no army. Brexit, we're better away from Europe. You're talking nonsense. You're telling me we're better, we're better. But there's no backup to it. You know, you're just regurging what you've been told. It's like when people say, how come you want out of one union and into another? You say, no, no, Westminster has harmed Scotland by asset stripping it over the last 30, 40 years. Asset stripping. Right? Mrs. Thatcher selling off the shipyards and all that stuff, taking the money down to London, sucking the life out of the rest of the country. So there you are. It's not a question of not liking our English friends or anything like that. It's just a question of our own administration because we know what we're talking about. You know how clever the Scots are. No idea, to be honest. You need to come over. Yep, hobby works up north on a mine. There we are, Deb. Excellent stuff. Uh, so that's that. Dave from Turkey, says David Grescott. David Grescott in Turkey. I love it. You're watching Scotty McClure in Turkey. This is what it's about. Santi Ocampo. Top of the morning. Where are you from, Santi Ocampo? With that wonderful name. Jim Gallagher, Dinky Do. What top man? Sarah Jane Black. I have a mental health problem, says Jessica Laboto. No, Jessica, you will not be alone, I can tell you. And there's a lot of support out there, but you do have to access it. Uh, Santi from Scotland here. Excellent, Santi. Uh, unless it's caused by ice and we have huge problem over here, it's cheaper to buy an ice than beer. So there we go. Uh, amazing. Are you a potato man, says David Grescott. Well, I have grown potatoes. Yes, I'm a, a Maris Piper man. Uh, so there you are. 
Excellent stuff. The seed potatoes. Uh, it was last month, I think, was the last day for seed potatoes. Did you quilt that sweater? Says Santiago Campo. It's wonderful, isn't it? This is my uh, my special sweater for uh, Nation Radio. My Nation Radio sweater. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Who knitted that sweater? Says Matthew Fernandez. Aha! That would be telling. So somebody who cares? Uh, why you built like a cheese doodle? Says Jessica Labottle. Jessica Labottle, you will need to explain what a cheese doodle is. So there you are. So a bit more explanation from you, madam. Watching in Canada, says Alison McMillan. Where are you, Alison? Do tell. Are you in Superior, Michigan, Huron, Ontario, Vancouver, Alberta? There you go. You you have to you have to face up. Um, I'm on the uh, midgets this weekend, Scotty, says George Roper. So what's that? The midget gems. Fantastic sweets, I have to agree. Shocked today, Wendy only went shopping for 45 minutes. Stress is the biggest killer, says Peter Lockwood. Well, this is why we cannot afford to be stressed, Peter. That's why you have Scotty McClue popping up to chill you out. There we go. What about that? Chill you out. You look like a farmer, Scotty. George Roper. It's funny you should say that. Somebody once quoted that um, C.S. Lewis talked like a philosopher and looked like a farmer, and somebody used that about Scotty McClure. They said, he talks like a philosopher, and he looks like a farmer. So there you go. So that's a great compliment. Our farmers are wonderful people. Hi, Scotty from Grand Canaries, says Stephen McMahon. Thank you, Stephen. Manitoba, says Alison McMillan. Alison McMillan, how did you manage to stay in the one place I hadn't mentioned in my list? You're from Manitoba. That is tremendous. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Hunter George, thank you, dude. Just still have accounts for sale. Jessica Labottle, I'll give you a lifetime ban for mentioning the word couch. So here you go. So we'll never, ever, ever hear from Jessica again. Can we wave Jessica bye-bye before she gets a lifetime ban? Excellent. Right, so there we go. Anybody mentions couches on here and... Uh, lifetime ban. There you go. You'll never, ever, ever hear from Jessica again. She just heard our parting words as she popped off. Excellent stuff. Scotty, uh, do with many... don't know what you're talking about, David. Yes, we'll come to that. Um, Alison McMillan calls it the Toilet Bowl of Canada. Manitoba, not at all. Uh, Five dollars for shoe and head, says Matthew Fernandez. I don't know if I've got, you need to put it into PayPal. I don't know if I've got a shoe to put on my head. Let me see. But you've got to say $5, right? So there will need to actually be $5. And uh, you'll have to keep your half of the bargain. I have to pop it into Scotty McClure's PayPal or gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. So there we are, Matthew Fernandez. If I put a shoe in my head, I don't think I've got a shoe though. Um, wait till we see if we've got one. Oh, here we are. Right, are you ready? You need to put your $5 in. You go to Scotty McClure's website and you'll see PayPal there. You have to click on that and put in five bucks. Okay, Matthew. Right, you better keep your half of the bargain. Here we go. Shoe on head, shoe on head, shoe, shoe, shoe on head. Okay. You owe me five dollars, kiddo. Excellent. Uh, is it raining in your home? Those beautiful Colin Muir. It's absolutely outstanding. So there you are. It's been a beautiful hot night. Peter Lockwood says, bro. Excellent, Peter. Thank you very much. He's got to put his five dollars in, uh, you know. A lot of hot air tonight, Scotty. The heating off. You know what I mean? I know, Gordon, you're an awful man for talking hot air. So it's good you come on here and see how to talk sense. That's what it's all about. Uh, Derek Jimmy Walker, Dickie Doo. Hey, mate, says Kevin Wiggum. Angela Goodlett. Gordon Riley, was that CS Gas? They said that's about. Uh, no, it's yours if you don't get roofer, says Isaac Kelly. What are you talking about, Isaac? David Grescott says, excellent. 
Hello, McClure. I used to listen to yourself. This is Carl Adrian. Carl with a K. Very nice. Hello, McClure. I used to listen to yourself on Scott FM, 100.3 megahertz, and also on Q96. Good show. Dinky doo. Well, Carl Adamson, on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night, you'll get two hours of Scotty McClure on 96.3 FM, the old Q96 frequency, Nation Radio. It's only a week old. It's been testing for about a month, but it's a week old. Get yourself on listening right now, 96.3. Fantastic. Uh, replying to Colin, Isaac Kelly, good one. So there we are. George Roper, Jessica. And uh, Lang May Your Lum Reek, says Matthew Fernandez. Thank you, Matthew. Have you popped the $5 in for shoe on head? There we go. Good evening, old pal. How are you? Says Jerry McGuck. Excellent, Jerry. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Scotty would clue doing a quick Wednesday evening pop-up late night just for you. Uh, I need to see the show fast. You've just seen it. I've just shown you. So come on, Matthew. No excuses. All eyes are upon you. They'll all be saying, has Matthew put his $5 in? Uh, one shoe. You've only got one. Absolutely, George. Yes, just a one shoe man, you know. I use it for my pastry. The shoe pastry. Atta boy, says Matthew. Love the cap. We grand award the same, says Isa. Excellent, Isa. Yes, the Scotty McClure cap. This one's from Ilkley. I've got a collection of them, as you know. Elaine Margaret McMath. Hey, Scotty. Hello, Elaine Margaret. Dinky do. Brian Wilson. Scotty, that's your Arthur Montfort cap. Arthur Montford, what a gentleman. I knew Arthur very well. So there you go, STV's sports presenter. Um, talking to Colin Muir, Scotty says, Isa, good, enjoy that, Isa. Thanks for letting us know. Sammy Stewart's watching. Aha, classmates, says Colin Muir. Uh, who else have we got? Louise Gemmell. Here's Sammy Dinky Doo. Hope everyone's hunky dory. We seem to be Sammy Stewart. Guys, if you've just watched me, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you just popped on your face and went, oh, what else happening here? Uh, a guy in red. A guy in red. Friday joke night with Derek Jimmy Walker and Scotty Crucial. Well, we'll see, Derek. Yes. One joke. Paul Francis Carroll, one of our finest organists, perhaps one of the finest organists in the world, watching from his schloss in uh, Österreich. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Hamish Carr. Uh, here's the one about, oh dear. Aha, says Paul Francis Carroll. Aha, Paul Francis Carroll. So there you are. Sammy Stewart, big red belly. Absolutely. Is that the name of a creature? Oh, it's all these big red bellies about. Do they, you know, watch yourself. Charles McLaughlin is watching Dinky Doo Ben Lucas. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Good stuff, Ben. Now, guys, I hope you'll all join me on Friday night, Saturday and Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp, 96.3 on the FM. Put it on now. It's brilliant. The music is outstanding. The station runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Wonderful presenters. The great Derek McIntyre is out in Dubai all week helping you to win a holiday. Uh, oh God, I remember my man I used to listen to years ago, says Isa. That's right, they would do. Scotty McClure's phone in. The Scotty McClure's nightline. Well, it's back. So there you are. Good evening, says Michael Putley. Good evening, Michael. How are you? Dinky do. Love your bonnet, says Karen Thompson. Would you like it, Karen? Very smart. So there you are. And uh, nothing like a well-fed man. Yes, and I'm nothing like a well-fed man, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is solid muscle. So there you go. Wonderful stuff. I'm hoping to sort of feed myself up a bit, keep my strength up, you know. Uh, he's him the night, so I'll get the wireless sorted, says Sammy Stewart. Good, Sammy. 96.3 on the FM. Um, I'm all right, thanks, says Michael. Good, Michael. You look after yourself, buddy. And you, yes, I am remarkable for my age, 34 years of age, and uh, tremendous. A white beard. I would be the spit of Santa Claus, big chap, says Rab Hill. I know you would, yes. I thought you were Santa Claus. 
Are you the tooth fairy? So there you are. Hi, and we were banned due to sensitive ears, Wiser. Oh, you wouldn't be allowed to listen to Scotty McClue in the old days, but it's a lot different now. It's more conversational. So there you are. Uh, so you would you would be banned. Scotty McClure was quite a wild show, but uh, with a massive, massive audience. And of course, we've got a big audience here on Nation Radio. You can just sense it. Tremendous stuff. And we'll get our audience figures out to you. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I say more sharing. Come on, another share. Live now, share. You're all, you're all beginning to slip a bit. You're, you're sagging. You're getting ready for your bed. I know that. Ah, so Isa, excellent Isa, dinky do. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome. Scotty McClure here for you. Late night pop up, Wednesday late night pop up, and we're just saying hi. Thank you for all the sharing because I don't know how much it gets round Facebook. So there you are. Uh, do you see Scotty McClure stuff pop up regularly, or is it just now and again? Um, are you doing Santa this year? I'll be your elf. Yes, just be your elf. That's all we're asking. If you just be your elf, you know. Scotty, I'm going to Italy tomorrow, but I will still tune in. See, see, Charles McLaughlin. Okay, okay. Sorted, sorted. See, see. Is that CD on the shelf? Just above the white one. Uh, is it uh, side and uh, four in dusty? Yes, I don't know what you're talking about, Gordon. I used to listen to you in my cassette radio. Got it taken off me when I couldn't get out for school in the morning. This is Laura Westwater. I think there's a lot of young people used to stay up and listen to Scotty. But it's now only Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for that very reason, because there'll be a lot of people tuning in this weekend. Uh, thanks, Colin Muir. I'll be showing this to my man, Da. Absolutely, yes, yes, whatever that is. Massive tonight, Scott Ayers, says Hamish Carr. Very, very, very big tonight, Hamish. Lots to talk about, of course, and so little time to do it in. The pop-ups, do you like the pop-ups? Do tell me what you think. You can be honest, because it's, it's all family, really, on Facebook, isn't it? Everybody knows everybody else. Um, everybody, I get you popping up. Uh, every day I get you popping up, so Sammy. Good, Sammy. So we, you do see Scotty McClure's stuff occasionally, is that right? Behind you, your CD, is it dusty? Behind me. Or oh, the one on its side? No, I don't think so. No, I think it'll be fine. Uh, you know, I always go around with a wee bit dicked and see everything's all right at McClure Towers, you know. So there we go. We got there's something to do. It's not quite high dusting the CDs. Uh, think I see the cover, says Gordon Riley. You probably do. You've got the the eyes of an owl and the hearing of a bat. They tune in definitely on Fridays as eyes are good stuff. Of course, it keeps us all in touch. It does indeed. You're a buzz, my man. Margaret MacDonald, bless you. Santa went to the hospital in England because of the National Health Service. National Health Service. Very, very good. Very, very good. Oh, Dusty. Is it Dusty Springfield? Uh, I don't think it is. No, no. Uh, Scotty, what do you make of the Prime Minister dancing, says Rab? Well, I could probably have lived without that particular vision. To be quite honest with you, Rab, but if she wants to dance, she should dance. She obviously, you know, got the bug in Africa there. Um, Castle you in, says Isa Kelly. McClure tires, Isa. You go through. That behind looks like CDs. That's a false wall. Takes you into the big Georgian bit and the Elizabethan bit of the castle and uh, all that stuff. Say hi to Scott Blything, says Ian Blything. Yes, Ian, I noticed Scott's up. Are you two brothers? Is that right? Or father, son? Uh, play your accordion. You're good at it. Oh, I don't think I'm that good at it. I just gave people a tune earlier to let them know I've got it there. It was just to prove that I do have the accordion because people say, oh, I, I thought you were just playing a record. So there are. There's Susan Forrest. I love it when you do your pop-up, she says. Very nice. <laughs>
There we are. So there you are. A wee bit of accordion for you. Just get you out of mischief. It's my big brother, Scotty. Ah, excellent, Scott. I've got you now. So you two guys are brothers. Love the phone ring. I know just when you're trying to make music, the phone rings. We had it one night. I was singing a Burns song and some guy phoned on uh, Messenger. What a racket, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel a lot better now, Scotty. Medicine's kicking in. Thanks for your encouraging words. We look after you, Margaret MacDonald. Strength to you, my darling. And a big hug, of course. Big hugs, good medicine. Uh, is a chunter, says Sammy. A chunter, a chanter. Is a chanter hard? It, it can be. You can play the chanter. Not too bad. If you watch carefully, you'll see Scotty McClure giving you a piano lesson. So if you want to put that into YouTube, Scotty McClue, play piano, and then it'll come out. It'll give you a seven-minute lesson on playing the piano. Can you do a Facebook Live video during the show at the weekend, says George McBean? I did talk to the bosses, and I think there could be problems with sound and what have you. So they weren't up for it right away. But who knows? They're very, very, very advanced and very clever and they'll sort things out. Um, Scotty, do you have, uh, I've got a brand new combine harvester by the Wurzels in your CD collection. Charles, I may well, I've got almost everything in there, but a lot of uh, Highland stuff. Hi, Scotty, and uh, lovely flowers from you, Margaret. Margaret MacDonald, what a dear lady, very sweet lady. She's had one or two health challenges recently that she's dealing with them. And we admire that because any of us can get health challenges at any time. We're a very, very finely balanced machine. Our body's tremendous. Gordon Riley, what are you on about, Gordon? Dust. So there you go. Yes. Well, I will have a dust if you want. I don't mind. Um, I quite fancy the chanter, says Sammy Stewart. Yes. When people talk about they're going to buy some drones, I say, well, buy a whole set of bagpipes. My father had a wonderful set of bagpipes that came from Peter Henderson in Glasgow. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful bagpipes. Tremendous. Ha ha, says Isaac Kelly. Excellent stuff. So there we go. And um, I'm a dab hand at the mouth organ as well. So there you are. I could give you a wee toot on that if I can find one at some point. We had Big Hamish from the drum the other night. Sunday night played Abide With Me live on the Muthi, live on the show, on the radio show, 96.3 in the FM. Need to have good lungs, says Ian Blythe. Yes. You brightened up my night, Scotty, says Hamish Carr. Dinky do, Big Hamish. You're a fine, fine fellow. Round of applause in the pub the other day. Huey bought a round. Thanks, Derek. Very good. Um, and no, you are a raver, my man. So it's going, yeah, well, I can dab, you know, and get down there and give it the full bit. Yay! Rave on. Uh, the Muffy. Oh, yes, please, says Sammy. So there we go. There was another thing called the Jaws Harp. That you saw it. <laughs> My dad plays the harmonica exerciser. Scotty, had a lot of people hating me in the Facebook debate about the SNP. Charles McLaughlin, nobody should ever hate anybody. If you hate somebody, you're shutting off an avenue of learning. So there you are. Uh, great stuff, says Hamish. Excellent, Hamish. Brilliant, says Isa. It's true, though. Don't hate and don't get too worked up. Just put your point. You don't need to get too worked up. People who are against you. Um, I'm, I'm surprised, I have to say, that there are such a thing as Scots against independence. That seems a little bit odd to me. Um, you know, a little bit strange. But I do understand where they're coming from. And they just need to see how the system... It's a bit like when people are anti-royal, right? People think that unionists and royalists are the same. They're not. There's a massive, massive lot of royalists who are up for independence because you need the Queen with us anyway. Um, are you in a flat and sight hill, Scotty? You're keeping us all going about McLean's Towers. I might well be, Rab. The wifey, wait a minute, the wifey upstairs. Oh, where's the doll? I'll not belong. I'm talking to the world. I am you hen. So, sorry, I was just talking to the lady upstairs. Uh, I just said this again. Hate is too harsh a word, 
So there you are. Excellent stuff. So there you go, Rab. You've, you've blown my cover, you know, on a flattened sight hill. Excellent stuff. Right. Um, as quick as you can. Come on, guys. I want to hear what's, what, what's the time? How long have I been up here? Um, are you all wanted to get away to your beds. Heavens above. It's nearly 11 o'clock. Well, not to worry. We'll press on for a few minutes. Uh, yes, hate is too harsh a word. Do not hate things. If somebody's putting down something silly, it's because they're silly, you know, and they're needing help. They need your guidance. Hate is only a word. People need to learn tolerance, says Alistair King. You're right, Alistair. Tolerance. That's what it's all about. I mean, I was saying um, too long, says Gordon Riley. Right, I'm going to go. Gordon Riley wants me to go now. He says, I've been up too long. Now, if I go right now, he's responsible for me going. Do you want me to disappear right now, or do you want another couple of minutes? But if I disappear right now, it's because Gordon says, I've been up too long. What do we think? Uh, could have swore you were a govern man. It's a savvy. Excellent stuff. So there's Gordon. You'll see it there. Too long. Brilliant, big man, says Rab. Not at all, Rab. Nice to hear from you. I just told her upstairs there, Rab. I hope you approve of that. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye, Gordon. There, all right. He's away to his bed. So Gordon's gone, so we can stay on as long as we like. All right. Stay, says Sammy. Yes, I'll stay for a couple of minutes, Sammy, and just see how everybody's getting on. No, says Isa. Don't go there. Another 30 minutes, says Drew. Lodarzik, Lodarzik, have I said it right, Drew? Drew Lodarzik. Uh, so there we are. Stay. Red card for Gordon. Yes, we need to write it out. And I have to write it out backwards. It's quite difficult to do. Write on my red card. I did have one I'd prepared earlier, as we used to say in a famous program. But I don't think I've got it. The red card. No, I think we've lost it. I think it's it's had to go. Red card. So there we are. I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's here. Hold on a second. No, oh, dear me. No, I thought that was the red card. Uh, there we are, but it isn't. Uh, come on, a bit of banter. Gordon Riley, you've gone. You can't come back like that. You've put your jammies on, the ones with the feet in them that zip up the back, and you've gone away to your bed. So bye bye. You can't come back on like that after you've caused a stushy. What's your favourite CD behind you, John Pollock? That would be impossible to answer. I love them all. Your jersey. Uh, stand up. Yes, show them the red card. Red card, Gordon. Excellent. Scotty, I did notice on Nation Radio they repeat a lot of the same songs on the presenter show. Based on playing music, 80s and 90s music, fantastic. Yes, there's a, a retro uh, function to it. It's a, a retro sort of feature to it. And, uh, and they do that because it's very, very popular. So there you are. The music's decided. Um, Vlodarzik is the best spelling. Vlo Vlodarzik. So Drew Vlodarzik. Have I said it right? This is Drew Vlodarzik. Best spelling for pronunciation, Vlodarzik. Yes, excellent. Vlodarzik. Am I saying it right now, Drew? I'll be practicing that. Drew Vlodarzik. Hello, pal. How are you doing? This is Thomas Hamilton. How's your day? My day was... Stunning today. The weather was wonderful, Thomas. Did you have good weather where you are? I've got my dressing gown on, says Derek. Good, Derek. You're halfway there. The one with the long sleeves that can get a cuddle <laughs> The long sleeves. There you are. Well, no, but uh, Gordon Riley, he's got his jammies with the feet in the one. He's zipped up the back. Time to go. Bubbles. So there you are. Yes, great, says Vlad uh, Drew Vladajic. Drew Vladarzik, lovely, what a name, Vladarzik. It's, it's, it's as if I've been saying it all my life, Vladarzik. Couple of hours, long I'm off work for two days, going to see Kevin Bridges tomorrow night with my son. Looking forward to it, Rab. You will enjoy every second of that. That man is a genius, and if you see him, tell him Scotty McClue says hi. So there you go. Yes, I did. I had a good day, pal. This is Thomas Hamilton. Good for you, pal. It's important that you have a good day. Excellent stuff. There we go. Lots of hearts from you guys. And what's happening time-wise? Did we share again? Share. 
Share. There we are. Excellent. I thought I'd better do a pop-up. I did a pop-up earlier. I thought I'd better do a late night Wednesday pop-up. Lol, says Isaac Kelly. Yes, we did. We did, Isaac. There's a lot of lol goes on here. In fact, we're, we're lolling about all the time, to be quite honest with you. So there you are. It's just a wee bit of banter, a bit of chat. It was a great day. A lot of people could see out of their windows because of me, says Charles McLaughlin. Excellent, Charles McLaughlin. So there you are. So you're either a policeman or a windy cleaner. Uh, seen him in the airport a few times, says Isa. Kevin Bridges or the windy cleaner. So there we are. Uh, excellent stuff. Doreen Grant, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome from Scotty McClue. Our Wednesday evening late night pop up just to say hi to all of you. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Can we have some more sharing, please? I feel there's not enough sharing going on here. And you know what happens if you don't share? Nobody knows we're on. And it becomes a secret. Uh, share. I'm just going to share to a page here. So if you'll bear with me, I'm sharing to what they call the Scotty McClure page. I think that's important. So that's where we are going with this. There we are. And uh, live now. Live now is what you put when you share. Live now. And guys, right click on the URL for my website and get that on there. If you're feeling flush and you want to pop five bucks into either PayPal or GoFundMe, please do that. Oh, the banter. Get better patter, mate, says Colin Muir. Colin Muir, if you want better patter, you go and seek someone else on the internet. You don't come and cheek up to Scotty McClue. You get better patter. If your patter's better, then mine will improve. I've shared, says Isa. Thanks, Isa. Hello, says Doreen Grant. Now, guys, every single one of you, if you've got a Twitter account, follow me at Scotty McClure. Go and like the Nation Radio page. Very important. Nation Radio Facebook, Nation Radio Scotland Facebook page. My mate went out with two fat ladies at the same time. He had a bingo of a night. Very good. Eric, all of Scotty's fans get twenty percent discount <coughs> on the on the on the windies. That's lovely, Charles. What a nice thing to do. So there you are. You'll be mobbed tomorrow. Beverly want the windows cleaned for eighty percent of full price. There you go. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the World Stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. If you're watching in Canada or America, that's you tell Colin Mears as Isa. Quite right, Isa. Didn't get it. Oh, Isa, I thought you were great and still game. Oh, I'm on Twitter, says Isa. Good. Well, you follow at Scotty McClure and you tweet that you're watching and you tell all your friends. Your class only a joke, says Colin Muir. Oh, it was only a joke. Well, I was just joking as well. We're a pair of jokers. So there you go. Excellent stuff. And... <laughs> <laughs> You're class too, although I don't believe in class, as you know, uh, just real class, you know, like class. I am class, but I wouldn't sort of like to think that I was any better than anyone else, you know. I remember telling the guy in the train, he said, to me, excuse me, I don't think you should be in here. I says, oh, why is that? He says, this is first class. I says, oh, doesn't it look first class? He goes, no, 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 it's first class. I said, well, your whole train's first class. It's superb. He said, no, no, this is first class. He says, through there's second class. I says, oh, right. So that's for the, the ordinary folk through there. I says, well, I don't really believe in the whole class thing. I said, and this is empty. Can I not just sit on? He said, no, 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 no. So they wouldn't allow it. Long time ago, right enough, when first class was grey and second class. And in the old trains, I can remember seeing a three painted on a door of an old carriage, and that apparently meant third class. You could travel third class on the railways. The NMD is still alive that travelled third class on the railways. Just on the thought, Scott, so drab, me and you should go into that big brother and cause a commonition. <laughs> we certainly would. So there you are. Classic, says Sammy. Excellent, Sammy. All that stuff. Yes, I will therefore have a pair of jokers. Belter, 
says Isa Kelly. Of course, Isa. Anybody still living that remembers third class on the railways? Or it was an old carriage, right enough. And I can remember the Glasgow Underground. Some of the carriages were 1893 or 1894. Wendy says, good night. Good night, Wendy. She's off to Bobo's. You better dash as well, Derek. I don't want you getting uh, an earful. Um, oh, yeah. Good on you, says Isa. <coughs> Excellent, Isa. Quite right, too. Uh, Keith Wallerspoon, thank you, do. You know, you hear of people in flights getting an upgrade. Well, I usually get a downgrade, you know. I sit in, in what do you call it, business class, and I say, any chance of me going through there where the wains are greeting and shouting and all that stuff? <laughs> Keith Wallerspoon, thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Good news. Right, I suppose it's time I wasn't here. What is the time? Uh, oh, my goodness, it's after 11 o'clock. You should have told me. I should have been telt in no uncertain terms that we're late. Are you ready for the song? Sweet dreams, Sammy, and you, darling. Mwah. I want to go first class. It's normally skipping in. This is eyes excellent. Scotty, great to get a chance to converse with you. Drew Vlod... Drew Vlodarzik. Vlodarzik. Drew Vlodarzig, lovely to talk to you. I heard Wendy laughing. Good night, pal. Good night, Thomas. All the best. Good night to every single one of you. Every mother, son, daughter, granny, auntie, fanny, everybody. I say to you all, dinky doo from Scotty McClue. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of Vitor Zane, au revoir, and a cheery o. You're the best. I'm in Santorini. Lovely to hear that Scottish accent, especially your Santorini Grant. She's in Santorini. Thanks, Scotty. You cheer me up. Cheers, Charles. All the best. And you're great at the Windies. Dinky-doo.